Hi everyone, this is Orchid. Now I've been thinking about switching out these pictures above my sofa. They are basically printed from online with a piece of canvas art. Now that would be expensive because it's a fairly large space. I decided to try a little thing on my own. So I picked up this piece of drop cloth from Home Depot. It's 5x5. Five five. I also got these 8 foot lengths uh, of wood. They were a dollar ten cents each, fairly cheap. I was fairly uh, surprised to find these. I'm going really cheap on this project, guys. You know, I normally do it cheap, then I redo it with better materials. I want to frame the canvas, so I'm using this lattice molding. And my plan is to not only put this around the canvas, but to also paint it gold. Now, you will need wood screws. But you also have the option to use nails and these are what I had but they are too long so I ended up using regular sheetrock screws right there of course you need your drill and your drill bit we are going to be stapling the canvas to the frame so you will need a stapler so here goes I cut it to the size I wanted I ended up with 30 6 by 45 I think that was it I didn't even miter the edges I just cut them straight so you can get away with not having a miter saw here then I drill my hole for my screw and then I put my screws in this is me now setting up to staple the canvas onto the frame and this is actually a drop cloth that you use when you are painting, guys. It is canvas, right? What I did was, once I stapled one end, I would move to the opposite end, stretch it very taut, and then staple. Cutting away the excess. I went back in and replaced those um, screws with nails, guys, so you don't really need to um, use um, screws. This is it after I'm done with that. But I had a little problem here, guys. Because it's such a large frame, it was a little wobbly. So I decided to get brackets to kind of make it much more stable. These are the ones I picked up, two and a half inch, four in a pack for like $2.70. And they were fairly easy to attach. And once I did that, no problem. My frame was perfectly firm no more wobbling so I m went on to painting it and you don't have to do this guys you could actually buy a primed canvas online for about eight dollars per yard and it's like 60 inch wide this is me mitering the end of the, the molding that is going to go around the frame and that's me with the metallic gold paint painting it I think I did about three coats now I am NOT an artist but I decided I see all these people doing artwork um, abstract art on YouTube and I'm thinking oh I can do that oh no it was not as easy as it looks guys and I didn't have a squeegee so I'm just using this paint stir to spread it over the canvas I also decided to get a little bit fancy and add some um, gold leaf in so be patient with me guys this is what I did I just dripped it onto the canvas and just spread it all over I think I was a little too heavy on the purple that's me adding the uh, molding around the canvas and this is it now this is less about my artist artistic skills than it is about the actual canvas and frame guys bear with me now but this cost me $25 for a 35 I think by 46 frame not bad at all so tell me what you think guys in hindsight I would definitely go for the primed canvas and to use pine instead of that really soft cheap wood that I bought um, but it's gonna cost a little bit more but still nowhere near it would cost you if you were to purchase a canvas that size thank you so much for watching guys bye now